Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and I am back with more The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. Uh, we could go that way, but we need the level 2 power bracelet, which we're going to get first, I believe, um, in order to get in there. Uh, yeah. Well, to get through that, um, the giant statue is what it allows you to pick up. Okay. I need another cut? Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Come back, you. Aha! Didn't need to use magic pad on those, but whatever. <gasps> oh no. What if the boomerang works on you? Yeah, the boomerang works on those. I'll show you in a little while. Nope, do not work on him. Woohoo! Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Uh. Well, that didn't do anything. You can use bombs. Or, um, or arrows. Whoa, bombs work so much better. Holy crap. I was trying to... I did a take of this already. Uh, it was bad, so I just started the crap over, but... Oh my gosh, come on. I used the crap... It takes like a bajillion arrows to kill those guys. But only one bomb hit. But you gotta time it right or else you waste a bunch of bombs, so yeah. Anyways, let's get the level 2 power bracelet. You got a more powerful bracelet! Now you can almost lift a whale! Wow, almost. Woohoo. <laughs> in, in Oracle of Ages and Seasons, one cool thing is uh, you can break pots like that with the sword. Well, well, the level 2 sword. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Get out of my way. Aha! Uh -huh. This way. And do that, and then we go this. Oh, there's. Uh, okay. Damn it, there's like nowhere you can stand. And that timing right is just hard. There's one. Yeehaw! Now we gotta throw a pot at this door. And... Um... This way. We got the... Oh, 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 oh. I can't do it. Do, 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 do. The... the ketone thing. Ketone. Uh, sounds like I'm 
talk about the keto diet or some shit. Uh -huh. Okay, well, that's a lot of stuff. All right, at least we got all the items and we got it. We got the item for the dungeon. I guess I don't need that right now. Um, and the compass and the map. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys, uh, these guys you can kill and get a fairy with the boomerang. That's interesting. You can jump, you can get up here, go down there if you need to. I wonder. Well, that works. to do here. Uh, we need to take the power bracelet, lift up these guys, and get them to both stand upright somehow. And that'll open the door. Oh, man. You can't open it. You can't grab that a second time. Sometimes throwing them at a wall helps. There we go. Like sometimes you gotta throw one at a wall and not the other, and you know. Okay, I want to get this chest too, so I'm not worried about it later. Yay, the stone beak! All right, the freaking stone beak! Yeah, I got that stone beak! I got that stone beak! The mother freaking mother pooping cooking fucking stone beak! Oh my god! Got an acorn. Oh, that. Oh, you know what? Not how much damage you take, or rather, don't take, when you have a guardian acorn and the blue tunic. Let's find out. Okay, that's pretty good. Guess that means even with the blue tunic, you take a whole heart from them. I'm assuming from them shooting you. What am I doing? Sure. Hey, I don't want to do it. Uh. Crap, I know what to do. Nope. I need to switch it back. God dang it. Okay, um... I got this. Or do Ah, uh, crap. This dungeon sure loves to make you throw uh, bullcrap at the frickin' doors. Also loves giving you rupees. There are a lot of rupees in this dungeon on chests. Oh look, we get to do that again. Cool. I guess they just really want you to have those arrows. If you don't have them by now, they're like, oh, here's a bunch of rupees in case you don't already have them. Oh, this part. It's a little annoying. Um, actually, in a lot of the Game Boy Zeldas. I don't know if I have other Zeldas. Um, I can't remember. Probably in Link to the Past. I, mean, I don't know about the original one, though. I guess. 
or any of the 3D ones either. Um, but yeah, you just grab your shield and just kind of block all those things coming at you. Oh, okay. Oh boy, I think this is. Yep, these guys. Oh man. Switch in in this dungeon. That's okay. Get fruct tectites. Tectites? Trictites? Trictites? Oh yeah. Okay. I wanted to. I was seeing if a uh, key was in there. That's why I just stood there for a second. Does it look like I wasn't couldn't be sure until I could be absolutely sure. Does that makes sense. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Chest, but I can't get it yet. What am I supposed to do in here? Okay, if you say so, it doesn't appear on the map for some reason, but it looks like there's a room there. Oh boy, and it leads to the mini boss. Hmm. Oh, we need the power bracelet. I think you just throw that at him. And either avoid or block it with the shield. Sticks. Come on. No, not that way. Ah! Oh, jeez. This dungeon has some uh, mysterious forest type thing where you can keep going north in an infinite loop if you don't know what you're doing. <gasps> oh, that was smart. Okay. Oh no. I already knew there was flying tiles there. Okay, I'm gonna need my shield probably. Okay, we gotta wait for them to, uh, finish, and then the key will fall into that little pink square.
Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, the best place to stand for that is the corner, usually. And yes, you can, if you time it right, and uh, jump over even double holes. Like that. And I'm looking... Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Let me guess, we gotta throw the statue at the door again. Yep, and we get to do this. Okay. Hey, first time that time. Woohoo. Heck yeah. Alright guys, you're gonna wanna pull out your Pegasus boots for this part. And good to go. Oh, you wanna see something really cool? You know how annoying those are? To try and kill with a freaking bomb? Well now all you need? With any one of these three songs, though, you should probably use the first one. You don't even have to be anywhere near them. Apparently they hate music, because it just kills them. I just wanted to go and, like, I don't know, feel kind of bold and brazen, going up to them and be like, Hey guys, check this out! Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Where do I need to go now? Probably up here. Uh, boomerang. Thanks for the fairy, buddy. I will appreciate that. Thanks. Do you want bombs? Yes, I do. Excuse me. Well, how do I get up there? Okay. The shadow was like on that side, but the bombs are over there. Whatever. I don't know if I question it. Oh god. Okay. Hell yeah. Not that I really need them anymore, but whatever. Switch and leave. Hopefully that made things cool. Uh. Okay. Not you guys again. Damn it. Come on. God, there's a trick. Once you get, if you can do it, uh, if you can get them to just swallow one, uh, you can get, keep putting a bomb there. Oh yeah. Okay. You gotta go over there. on this block. Oh yeah, that's that's right. There's a key up there. That's probably the boss key. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming. Uh. Oh right, you gotta throw a pot at the chest to open it for some reason. 
You've got the Nightmare's Key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. Yeah. We already hit the switch once, so I'm not gonna hit that one. Hopefully I don't need to. Okay. Now I gotta find our way to the Nightmare's Lair. I need the frickin' rocks, rather. Okay. You can jump over these squares if you're on top of one. With the rocks, rather. Obviously. I already have that. But thanks. Meaning that you can't have it more than once, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Looks like we don't have any choice but to go this way. Wait, I wanted those bombs. Yeah, I definitely need them. And if I keep coming in and out, I can actually make them respawn and get maximum bombs real quick. So let's do that. In and out from the secret passageway. They won't respawn if you leave this room and come back, like... The way I just did it. I hope I didn't mess something up. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? No bombs. Alright, we got max bombs. Let's pull out our rocks feather. Boom ring. Ah, shiz. Shiznit in the quiznit, quiznit. Quiznit in the biznit, whiznit. His wit could a biz wit did bit a 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 bit what am I saying? I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Let's go this way. <gasps> we haven't been this way yet. But, I mean, we have, but... Oh yeah, you gotta get to the slimes. There's a bunch of slimes. There's four, I think. Get them all dead. And the door will open. Get me out of here! Alright, we're very close to the boss. I believe we... I don't even know. Prectastic thing. No, oh boy, okay. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, good. Whew, we found the boss room. I want to light those up, but I don't see what the point of that would be. Alright. Where's the boomerang? Aha. To the boss! I believe I know what this boss is, if I'm not mistaken. Here you go. Oh, another one. Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is, 
Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. It's your face. All I gotta do is throw bombs at it. Not throw bombs, but... Gee, I wonder why this dungeon is called the Face Shrine. Yeah, just hang out there for a second, guy. Works for me. That frickin' motorcycle is at frickin' 151 in the morning. Hold on a minute. It's lucky that that boss music is just wah, 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 over and over again. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. I just love living next to a busy, busy street. It's the greatest. Not annoying at all. Especially for recording videos. For YouTube. <laughs> you got the coral triangle! Yay! That doesn't look so bad. Mountain. Something calls from the mountains. Hoot! This many, the many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now, go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot hoot! Okay, so now we need to go get the rooster and the bird key. The fastest way to do that to use Mambo's Mambo. Yeah, okay. Because we gotta go get him from May Village. Now that we have the level 2 power base, but apparently we're strong enough to move this Rooster statue. We also need to play the Song of Souls to wait, awaken him, because he's like a skeleton, uh, basically, and it like brings his spirit to his... Yeah, you'll see. And then he's like, oh, I'm alive now. It's like, cool. power bracelet to uh, use them to fly, basically. I wonder if you can do it without the power bracelet. Oh, okay. I, I, I used, when I did it before, I would always have to make sure the power bracelet was equipped, but I guess you don't need it. Alright. So now we need to break out our ocarina and play the frog song. Yeah! Wow, the rooster has recovered. <laughs> the rooster has recovered. He seems very friendly. Alright, rooster, you coming with me, buddy. Before we go get the key, which is what we need to use you for, we need to go... I believe there's a heart piece or something we can use him to get. Wow, he just jumps super high in the frickin' air. It'll be real quick, we just gotta go over by Kanala Castle. Ah! Feels nice to be outside again after that frickin' dungeon. You know, it's not much less dangerous out here. <laughs> uh, our kind of castle is this way. Right? Uh, hang on.
Yeah, we're right outside of it. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. So now, this is, I believe, only the rooster can get you over there, not even the hook shot. So, uh, you take the power reset, and we just pick him up, and he just flies us over there. Oh, it's just rupees. Well, that's lame. But I do believe that's the only way you're going to get those rupees. If you want them. Okay. Okay, uh... Get out of my way, Rooster. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, we need to go... Great. This way. Go back to the ledge above the angler's tunnel. I can't remember. I guess we gotta go yeah, this way. Oh, hello. Hoot hoot, your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east, the windfish is getting restless. Okie dokie, artichokey. Ortichokey? Ortichokey? We need to go in that cave. Yeah, we need to go in the cave. See, see that gap up there? Uh, I kind of need a rooster for that, I think. I don't know, though. It looks like a place you can get to from a hookshot. And then that bush might have a secret seashell in it, but we don't need those anymore. So, I don't know. Ah! just be chilling and then all of a sudden like mosquitoes and crap just be attacking you that's what these um, bats and slimes feel like sometimes like maybe you're outside having a picnic oh oh god this again and uh maybe you get a freaking ant crawling on your foot and then mosquitoes start biting you and this that and the other thing That's not going to be helpful anyways. Maybe there's a treasure chest that we already got out there, yep. Okay. Alright, we're where we want to be now. Up there is just where we met Popple, and over here is the ledge we want to be at. Now we need to go this way. Okay. Alright, we gotta go this way. Put a long on on. Uh holy crap, there's a freaking building. Probably with somebody inside it. Hello? Wow, amazing! That rooster is actually flying! It's just like I said, eh? I don't remember talking before, but okay. <laughs> Have you tried to hold him over your head? Cluck, cluck! Alright. We got Mr. Chicken and Rooster Loving Guy. That's cool. Hey, we all have our hobbies, right? Alright. Uh. Where do I freaking go? Probably not. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't have the shovel. I'm so dumb. Nope, that's not what I want. 
I gotta organize those items. Whatever you organize them, and I mean, they still wind up in chaos at some point. It's probably a metaphor for life that Zelda's trying to teach you or something. What's the point in cleaning if this is gonna happen anyway? I just that, That's not a good advice to listen to. Don't listen to that. You still need to clean. <laughs> whatever needs cleaning, obviously. Whether it's you or your house or whatever. Workstation, etc. Okay, let's try going this way. Uh... Okay. Okay. That's not where we need to go yet. It's probably to the dungeon. I, I think, or maybe the next dungeon, because the room's over here in one spot and uh, the other spot. Okay, this is where we need to go. I, I think. This is where we came from. Nope, this is new. Okay. the key we need. Can't get it from here. I guess we gotta push these blocks. Um, hmm. Okay. That works. Ah, this is why you need the flying rooster. For this exact frickin' moment, right here. And now we don't need him anymore. Bye, flying rooster. I'm just kidding. The frick out of my face. You've got the bird key. Oh, yeah. We're doing the eagle's tower next. That's the name of this dungeon. I believe. And then the last one's called, like, Turtle Rock, I think. If I'm not mistaken. No more way. Ew. Okay. What? You drop down a hole to go outside? Okay. Okay. Well, that's something you would never think of. Now we need to go this way. Uh-huh. Let me guess it goes back to where we just were a little bit. No, that's new. Okay. Well, I kind of want that treasure, even though it's probably rupees. And I think that's where that hole we just blew up leads. So let's go check that out. Ouch. Oh, hello. Yeah, joy, that's right. All right. <sighs> I guess it's a hundred rupees. Okay. Never mind. 
Oh, the other rupees are gone. Sad face. Like two of the chests are just gone. Like, bye bye. We have disappeared for no reason. Alright, now we gotta go this way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way! I'm real freaking get no more people you blah 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 blah. You are near the Eagle's Tower. Where of the bird. Good, that's where we wanna be. I'll be alright, I got a bird with me. My bird will attack the other bird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even think he goes in the dungeon with you. Just like Yoshi and Mario. Super Mario World. Get out of my way, get out of my way. When you have to go into like fortresses or uh, whatever. Okay, I don't know what the point of going down there, down there would be. Uh. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Oh god. Can't do anything about you. Okay. Okay, I wanna bomb that wall. Go a bomb at the wall. You know we just need to put it there. Hello. Okay, I believe we're very close to the next dungeon. There it is. Alright. <laughs> A lot closer than I expected, that's for sure. Alright, guys. We made it. And that's going to do it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX with me, your boy, Sakamoto. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you guys. Have a great...